Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Rai and we are back with another video. So y'all, today's video is literally just me installing this wig. Now, y'all have to bear with me because my power cut out in the middle of me recording. So, I actually did not get me cutting my hair. But crazy enough, I didn't even plan to wear my hair to short. I actually bought um 18 22 and 24 length bundles but my frontal that came it was a free frontal and it was 12 inches so of course i really couldn't do nothing with the longer inches here because it looked crazy so this is the the style that we're going with it's just a little cute summer look i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it for but you know i like it it's cool you know i can just put some water in it and go in the morning so that's fine but if y'all like this uh hairstyle and you want to know how i installed my wig go ahead and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe don't get turned with post notification y'all just me i feel like i'm talking a mile a minute let's start that over rewind all right if you guys would like to see how i achieved this look make sure you like comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you guys can be updated every time i post a new video and without further ado we can get right into it like yeah because it's just it's just giving So, like I said in my intro, today I am going to be showing y'all how I apply my wig from start to finish. This is the wig that I will be putting on today. It is a, I guess you could say, um, deep curly wig. I've just constructed it, you guys. I made it the super glue method. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen on TikTok, but these girls have been making their wigs using um, Gorilla like super glue. And so I was really interested. It was really fast. I can make a video if y'all want to know how I did that. But um, it's just a frontal wig. It goes from ear to ear. It's three bundles, um, 18, 22, and 24. Yeah, I think that's how much it is. And, and it's a frontal. So yeah, I'm gonna put it on. As y'all can see, I already got cornrows. So I'm gonna put my wig cap on. So I'm using them got to be. And I'm just gonna push all my edges back so we can make sure the adhesive is not um, getting on my edges. Cause I need to keep on to the little bit that I got. Also, I think I'm about to um, cut down my sideburns because when I put my frontal, I don't want my hair to be in the way. So I'm about to shave off my sideburns. Mommy, I'm sorry, because I know you're about to have a cow when I do this. All right, so right here, I'm going ahead and shaving down my sideburns. After that, I am going to go ahead and slick back my edges. And then I'm going to apply my wig cap and go ahead and cut some flaps out for my ears. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Ghost Bond wig glue and outline the perimeter of the wig cap so that the wig cap can begin to adhere to my head.
right you guys so right here i am just going back in with my bold hold and i'm ensuring that i cover the whole perimeter of the wig cap with my glue so that it is completely adhered to my hairline after i do that i'm going to go ahead with my blow dryer and i'm going to have it on cool to medium heat i'm just going to go ahead and dry this thin line of glue you want to keep blow drying until the glue is completely translucent all right you guys so while you let your wig cap continue to dry you want to go ahead and tint your lace now you can tint your lace with um lace tint spray which is what i'm using or you can use any foundation that you would normally use to do your makeup ultimately the objective is just to make sure that the lace is brown as close to your skin tone as possible after you put your lace in on you want to make sure you spray freezer spray so that you do not transfer the tint onto your wig cap if that makes sense all right now it's time for the fun part so as you guys can see i am going ahead and cutting off the um excess wig cap that is left when you are cutting off your wig cap especially around your ears please be careful for one make sure your wig cap is completely dry and if it's not just be mindful because you can always go back in and add some more glue but if you cut off too much wig cap then it's gonna like roll back and it, it just won't stay in place so just be careful Alright, now I'm going to go in with this Kiss Bold Hold um, wig glue. I like this wig glue because it has a, a silicone spatula on one end and then a fine tip nozzle on the other end. So as you can see, it was very easy for me to spread the glue around um, on my wig cap. Now, you saw me put my three fingers up. You guys are going to make sure that you put three layers of glue. Before you do all three layers though, first you should put a layer down and then blow dry, make sure it's dry. Put another layer down, blow dry, make sure it's dry. And continue like that. All right y'all, so now as you can see, the glue is pretty much dry. Some of these spots are a little white, but I don't know if that's because I can never get my, dry, my glue 100% dry, but I don't know if that's because it was just too thick in those spots or what, but it's pretty tacky, so. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this wig on. Um, so once you have your glue on, then you're gonna pull your wig on and do this part slow, y'all, because it's nothing worse than laying. I mean, you can lift it up though if you do lay it wrong, but Alright, and she's on. <laughs> she's on. Now we're just gonna let it like, oh, this looks so crazy. Oh, this looks so crazy. Um, alright. So before you start to cut your lace, you wanna get your blow dryer and you wanna make sure that it's dry in place before you start cutting. Because all right, you guys, so when you are blow drying your lace, again, you want to be blow drying on medium to cool heat, not hot, because you will burn yourself. Also, when I blow dry my lace, I like to use my comb 
and comb the hair front and forward. I also just like to put the blow dry directly on the um, lace. I think it gives me better results. It also just dries it way faster because as you guys can tell, I'm sure I'm very impatient. Now I am going to go in and begin to cut my lace. Um, I like to cut my lace into three sections first before I cut off um, too much just because it allows me to see better. First, before you start cutting, you want to go ahead and part um, some hair for your hairline. A lot of times you're going to have to create your own hairline because the front is just entirely too thick. Um, so I normally have to cut into the front to make the wig fit my head as you guys can see right here And it's okay. Don't be alarmed because you're cutting off a lot of the hair because For one the frontal is very dense and two like you're gonna pluck it anyway, so it really doesn't matter It will blend just fine It will look more crazy if you didn't cut into it. So, you know, just keep that in mind um, as you guys can see, I start to cut with an eyebrow razor. I prefer to do this because I think it just gives me um, a cleaner cut. Also, when you guys are cutting your lace, try to cut in a zigzag pattern. You cannot really tell because I don't get close up in the camera for you guys to see. But I'm not cutting in a straight line. I'm definitely cutting more jacket because I just think that it lays more flawless when you cut the lace jagged as opposed to blunt. All right, so right here, I am just going in and cutting out an ear flap. When I tell you guys this is a very, very, very important step, do not think that you're gonna put your wig on and not cut an ear flap out because the wig will not lay flat to your head because it's gonna pucker, it's gonna cause it to pucker. Also, it just won't be comfortable, especially now since we wear a mask. Like, if you walk around with your wig up, I'm sure the mask is going to rub. It's going to be very uncomfortable. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and with some alcohol and clean up that excess glue around my hairline and lift up any wig cap that might be a little bit too forward. Um, so I could go ahead and pull it up um, before the wig is completely secured to my head. Right here, I'm just going ahead and cleaning up that hairline, making sure it's no glue, making sure that the lace is, you know, perfectly fitting to my hairline. And then I'm just going to go in with some freezer spray and spray um, just the perimeter to go ahead and lay back down those edges and corners and stuff that have not, you know, dried to my scalp. <laughs> Right now it is time for the most anticipated part of this video. We are about to do some baby hairs. So what I like to do is pull all my hair back in a ponytail and then I'm going to go part out a thin amount of hair and just go ahead and pull it to the front. Like I'm just gonna part this hair out and make sure it's a good amount of hair for me to work with. And then 
we're going to get right into these baby hairs. Okay, so here I am going to go in with my balm wax stick. I truthfully don't even know if this is a wax stick that they sell at all beauty supplies, but this is the wax stick that they had at my beauty supply in Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you live there, make sure you get it. As you guys can see, I'm going ahead and putting the wax on both the hair behind the baby hair and on the hair that's actually going to be the baby hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the hot comb and press it out so that there are no lumps and bumps or anything. Oh, as y'all can see, <laughs> my hot comb was taking forever to get hot. So I needed just to wait a little bit. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So just keep watching. Alright, so this part, you truly cannot mess this part up. So, as you guys can see, I go in with my tweezers and I'm just plucking my hairline. Um, I don't have a certain amount of hair that I want to pluck. I just want to pluck it until it looks good. But I feel like you can gauge for yourself what your hairline should look like. You know if your hairline is normally super thick or if your hairline is normally a little bit sparse or if you normally wear very dramatic baby hair or more subtle baby hair. So this is all just a preference. I'm going to continue to pluck this um, hairline until it's pretty wispy because I don't want super, super thick baby hair. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is a preference. Like I said, just be careful because you don't want to rip your lace. And when you pluck in the hair, I would say a lot of people like to pluck it with their fingers, but I prefer to pluck it with a tweezer. I mean, I'm also kind of just pulling pieces out with my fingers as well, but um, the tweezers are better because it ensures that you're not going to rip the lace and you won't rip a bald spot into your wig. So if you're more... Um, comfortable doing this step then I would say go for it and pluck the, the hairs with your hands but if not then use tweezers. Next I'm going to go with the scissors and I'm going to cut these baby hairs down because of course they're entirely too long to be baby hairs right now. So I would say um, about an inch and a half is a good length for your baby hairs. Of course though you know every person's head is different so you might have to cut them down a little bit more than that. I'm actually pretty sure that I have to cut mine a couple times before they actually lay perfectly. Alright once you feel like you have cut your baby hair down to a good length and plucked them and everything you are going to go ahead with your um, mousse or styling foam or whatever and just put it on the baby hair. I like this step because I feel like it's easier to see how the baby hair will look when you actually slip them down. So as you can see, I just went in and I cut the length of my baby hair because it's way too long. And I'm literally just gonna keep playing with it. You're not gonna get your baby hair right on the first try. So just pack your patience. Um, but yeah, I'm literally just gonna keep cutting them to shape them to match my face if that makes sense so just be patient keep playing with them I would say until you're absolutely positive that you like the way your baby hair look just use the styling foam and then once they're perfect you can go back in with like a uh, edge booster or got to bleed glue or something something harder to keep it in, in place but while you're trying to move it and work it around I would use glue also, when you are doing your baby hair, be mindful that mousse is a water-based product and you just took the time to glue your wig now. So, that means that you need to be trying to move fast. Like, you don't have to rush. 
but don't take 30 minutes trying to do your baby hair because your wig will 100% lift before you even finish this step if you move too slow. with your baby hair you would not to like girl I got tongue tied you want to grab an elastic band or any type of scarf that you have but preferably a scarf that will only lay on your edges and you would like to um, tie it down secure it just make sure that the edges don't move and also like I said your wig is probably going to be lifting because it's wet so you want to you know dry it and melt that lace back down. Okay y'all, so next I am going to go ahead and drench this whole wig in water. Now like I said before, the inches are kind of off on this. Um, my front wig is a 12 inch and the other, the other lumps are like 24 and I think I think 24 is the longest, but 12 inches is entirely way too short for me to wear, you know, this hair curly. Like, you, as you guys can see, it doesn't even blend. So, you guys are going to see in the next few clips that I start getting a little scissor happy and I um, end up cutting this hair down to make it blend better. As you guys can see, I literally just kept playing with this hair. It was not falling how I wanted it to fall. Um, it didn't blend, like the length of the tracks didn't blend, so yeah, I just was trying to figure out at this point what I was going to do to fix this problem, and then I decided to pick up my scissors. <laughs> my hair came out 
yeah y'all this is what it looked like so like y'all can see from the last clip to right now i definitely chopped off a lot of hair and honestly i really just got super happy like i said before the power had went out so i really kind of did this hairstyle like semi in the dark i used like daylight so once the power had came back on i realized i cut it uneven which is how it ended up so short but i actually like it so it's cool that's gonna work but if y'all like this video or if you want more videos or you guys got some, some, some uh, or you guys got some suggestions leave them down in the comments below make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn that post notification bell so y'all can be updated every single time i post a new video y'all that looks crazy anyway yeah school's about to be over so the summer's about to be up i mean i just want y'all to know i got trip on top of trip on top of trip and y'all about to come with me y'all about to get all the footage so yeah also it's aggie fest at ant so I don't really know what I'm planning to get myself into this week, but I do know that I plan to be outside with it, outside with it. So, yeah, y'all can catch me there, and I'm going to make sure that I bring y'all along. So, yeah, that's it. I don't want to ramble to y'all. I think I told y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But if I didn't, I'm going to tell you again. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn that post notification bell. And that's it for today. <laughs> Peace.